Imagine vessels weighing thousands of tons, gliding effortlessly over mountainous landscapes. No, this isn't a scene from a futuristic sci-fi movie. It's a breathtaking reality, one of China's greatest engineering achievements. In the heart of China's rugged terrain, monumental structures like the Three Gorges ship lift have redefined what's possible. These marvels have made it feasible for vessels to cross enormous height differences, defying gravity and connecting waterways that once seemed insurmountable. But how did China master mountain navigation with engineering? What kind of audacity and innovation does it take to carve a path through nature's toughest barriers? China's geography is as vast as it is varied, offering a rich tapestry of landscapes that include towering mountain ranges, expansive plateaus, dense forests, and sprawling river systems. The country is home to some of the world's most dramatic natural features, particularly its mighty rivers, which carve their way through rugged terrain and provide vital routes for trade and transportation. However, while these rivers have historically served as crucial arteries for economic activity, they also present formidable challenges due to their steep inclines, swift currents, and turbulent rapids. One of the most notable examples is the Yangtze River, the longest river in Asia and a central figure in China's economic life. It cuts through some of China's most challenging topography, with elevation differences of hundreds of meters in certain sections. These geographical obstacles make navigation extremely difficult for larger vessels often leaving ships stranded or forced to take longer, more circuitous routes. The sheer scale of the Yangtze's terrain meant that portions of the river were virtually impassable for centuries, creating natural barriers that isolated regions and hindered trade. Historically, this posed a significant challenge to the flow of goods and ideas across the country. The difficult geography restricted the movement of both people and products, stifling the economic development of entire regions. Areas that were situated along the river's more challenging sections often struggled to access larger markets, limiting industrial growth and preventing many local economies from reaching their full potential. These natural barriers also slowed the expansion of industrial supply chains, which rely on efficient transportation networks to move raw materials, components, and finished goods. Before the advent of modern engineering, the solutions to these problems were rudimentary and inefficient. The primary method for overcoming the river's challenges was labor-intensive portage, manually carrying boats, cargo, and even goods overland from one navigable section of the river to the next. This process was not only physically demanding, but also time-consuming, severely limiting the capacity for large-scale transportation. Additionally, the reliance on primitive canal systems was another solution, but these were often slow, cumbersome, and incapable of accommodating larger vessels, making them ineffective for more industrial-scale trade. The stakes in overcoming these transportation challenges were immense. It wasn't merely about improving convenience for traders and travelers. The ability to navigate the Yangtze and other similar rivers was critical to unlocking the economic potential of entire regions. By connecting isolated areas and facilitating the movement of goods more efficiently, China could open up new markets, boost industrialization, and foster economic growth on a scale that had previously been impossible. These advancements would not only change the face of Chinese infrastructure, but also have far-reaching effects on the country's position in the global economy. The challenge required a bold solution. Enter the concept of ship lifts, gigantic mechanical structures designed to hoist vessels over significant height differences. The idea wasn't new. Early versions of ship lifts existed in Europe. But adapting this concept to China's massive scale and unique challenges required unprecedented ambition and innovation. The most iconic of these feats is the Three Gorges Dam ship lift. Constructed as part of the larger Three Gorges Dam project, this lift is the tallest of its kind in the world. Standing over 113 meters tall, it's essentially an elevator for ships, capable of raising or lowering vessels weighing up to 3,000 tons in just 40 minutes. But this wasn't merely about replicating the existing technology. The harsh geographical conditions, steep mountains, unstable soil, and extreme weather posed unique challenges. Engineers had to design a system that was both powerful enough to lift enormous loads and precise enough to ensure the safety of the vessels and their cargo. So, how does a ship lift like the one at the Three Gorges Dam actually work? At its core, the system is based on a combination of mechanical engineering and fluid dynamics. The lift operates on a counterweight balance system. A massive water-filled basin holds the ship, and this basin is counterbalanced by weights on the other side of the mechanism. This balance minimizes the energy required to raise and lower the vessel. What's particularly ingenious is the use of hydraulic systems to fine-tune the process. 
These systems allow for millimeter-precise movements, ensuring that the ship remains stable throughout the ascent or descent. The entire operation is orchestrated by sophisticated computer systems that monitor weight distribution, water levels, and mechanical stress in real time. This ensures not only efficiency, but also the safety of the vessels and crew. The impact of these engineering marvels extends far beyond their technical brilliance. By connecting previously isolated regions, ship lifts have revolutionized local economies, opening up new opportunities for trade, tourism, and industry. Trade routes that once took days or even weeks to traverse can now be navigated in a fraction of the time, leading to faster delivery of goods and more efficient supply chains. For example, the Yangtze River, often referred to as China's Golden Waterway, now handles over 1 billion tons of cargo annually, supporting the country's booming manufacturing sector and its global trade ambitions. Much of this success can be attributed to innovations like the Three Gorges Ship Lift, which has enabled larger vessels to bypass the challenges of navigating the Three Gorges Dam. This state-of-the-art lift has not only streamlined transportation but has also significantly reduced transportation costs which in turn makes goods more affordable to consumers and boosts industrial output. These ship lifts and similar systems have transformed regional economies by linking previously disconnected areas, allowing local industries to access international markets. In countries like China, Brazil, and even parts of Europe, these advancements have catalyzed economic growth by enhancing the movement of raw materials, finished products, and agricultural goods, fostering a more interconnected global economy. But it's not just about economics. The environmental benefits of these systems are significant as well. By enabling more efficient waterborne transportation, which is far less carbon-intensive than land-based transport, these innovations contribute to a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. For instance, a single large vessel on water can carry the same amount of cargo as hundreds of trucks, drastically reducing the number of vehicles on the road and their associated environmental impact. Additionally, the integration of ship lift technologies into existing dam systems has enabled better management of water resources, improving flood control and facilitating hydroelectric power generation. The Three Gorges Dam, for example, not only supports the ship lift but also plays a crucial role in managing water flow, reducing flood risks downstream, and providing a significant portion of China's electricity through hydroelectric power. This dual-purpose design enhances the sustainability of these projects making them vital components of both local and national infrastructure. In some cases, the environmental benefits extend to local ecosystems as well. By regulating water levels and ensuring a more consistent flow, these systems can reduce the ecological damage caused by erratic water levels that often disrupt local wildlife. Furthermore, the ability to use hydropower efficiently reduces the dependence on coal and other fossil fuels, contributing to cleaner energy production. China isn't stopping here. The success of the Three Gorges ship lift has spurred interest in developing even more advanced systems. One area of focus is scalability. As global trade grows, so does the size of cargo ships. Future ship lifts will need to accommodate even larger vessels while maintaining efficiency and safety. Another priority is automation. By incorporating AI and machine learning, engineers hope to create systems that can adapt to changing conditions in real time, further reducing operational risks. Beyond China, these advancements have the potential to revolutionize mountain navigation worldwide, offering sustainable solutions for regions grappling with similar geographical challenges. The story of how China mastered mountain navigation with engineering is a testament to human ingenuity. It's a story of vision, perseverance, and the belief that no obstacle is too great to overcome.